Hi everyone, welcome back. In this React.js video tutorial, we will learn how we can submit the form in React.js and how we can validate it. And we will do it with a very simple example. So we will take a form of two fields and uh, then we will get the value of uh, the fields. Then we will make the object of JSON object of this field. Then, the, then we will validate it and submit it. So let's sit with the very relaxation so let's get started it with the all right so just take two field here first of all so i'm going to take the input type is text and write the placeholder right here enter name all right and just close it and take one more field which is the password and right here enter password and now take a button here here submit all right so just take some b a br tag between them so that we will take it in the next line otherwise they'll showing in the same line so now let's see what's what we achieved here so you see that we have two fields and what now nothing is going to happen here so now just make a function here so whatever you can put the name of this function i'm going to put the uh, valid so i'm going to write the two parameter here. one is item which is we got the item here so that we can get the value and put the validations here and second is type so which type of input is there so just call this event here on change all right so now call it with the arrow function so this dot valid and for type the uh, complete item i can type here item or you can take it e event whatever you want and second parameter is password oh it's the it's actually name on change all right now take the same event here so just console it that we are getting it here something or not just right here item whatever should put the name here I type just open the console here so this data is coming from the other uh, screens which is this is already mentioned here so just ignore them right here name which is not coming here so I have to check that this is the own change actually so <laughs> check with the console so just going to write we are getting the object here and we are getting the only object here all right so we got the object here and type here also so let's check that we are getting getting the type or not name and this means the passwords all right so we got the type and name here so now 
on the behalf of the type I'm going to make a switch case here so that we can take the data of both input and uh, we can apply the validations so why I am taking the switch statement because if we have more than uh, five four six uh, how many uh, many input fields then the if if uh, else condition is looking very old so that's we are going to take the switch all right so with before that I'm going to take the two states here oops so these are the name which is blank by default and password this is also blank by default so I'm going to write the switch item switch state so in the first case uh, the first case is name actually and if we got the name then just console here console dot uh, item so all right so before that we actually forgot the one thing here just write the case and I'll tell you right here password so how we can get the value of this item we got the complete object here as you see but uh, how we can get the value for the get value I'm going to console dot one and write here uh, value like item dot target dot value and let's see now you will see the value here just write the uh, Alex you can see that we got the Alex here all right so how we can get the value here so same thing we will got the password here so now in this else condition and uh, just take a variable here let item value with from this all right so now just check the item value here with the type and at the single time we will just we are just checking that uh, we are coming in the uh, suitable case or not so just write here one two three so you can see that on three time we got the password here and the item is po password here and now I'm going to type the name like Sam so the everything is coming from the name you can see that name 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 or this is coming from here all right so we are getting the uh, exact type here so now I'm going to write here this dot set state in this case we are uh, updating the name state which is coming from the item value all right and in the second case we are going to update the password state and now at the last in both case I am going to console dot one state full state this means this dot state so I can see that what data we are going to save in the state so let's enter the name here the name is Alex so you can see that Alex is here so and the password one two three so you can see that we got the password here also so this is the way how we can get in the state so now we get the data in the state so how we can collect in the single state now because they are in the two states for that uh, 
just make a submit button and after the uh, collecting the state we will see how we can validate the fields so just create a submit function here and this is calling by the button click on click mm -hmm. this dot submit all right and now take let take an object here which is blank by default and object dot name will save this dot state dot name and with the same thing just take a one more key with the password and put the password state here now console dot warn submit data uh, object here all right so now I'm going to write here the data and we will get it in the uh, submit object so I'm going to write it Alex let's pause oops just remove this one Alright, just write here Alex and enter the password like ABC123 and submit here. So you can see that we got the data in the single format and now we can submit it easily. So how we can submit it? For that you can watch our previous sessions uh, for the fetch API in the how we can call the data with the fetch API and if you want to see how we can uh, post the data in the API so you have you can watch our next video uh, in which we will submit the data with the API and get the response also so for now just validate the field now so there is no validations if I'm going to put them blank so everything is blank here all right so for that uh, we will some uh, we will put the validations uh, in the same function so in the same condition I'm check here if uh, item dot value dot length is less than four then what's going on then item dot target dot style dot color is red but it will take the values and else and if the length is extend to this then we can use the blank color so let's see now what's going on so let's i'm going to put the alex so you can see that whenever i have the uh, length is less than four then the color is red because this is not right you can type the message here if you want to alert whatever you want to do you can do that here and the same thing is the password if you want to do then you can do with the password also mm. oops we put outside the close actually and just write your else case also item dot color should be red and the password should be work as well here j 
yes increase the length of the password up to it it, it looks nice Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What's wrong with that? Let's check me out. fine in the same case is here now take it in the else case also so we can update the password here and password here now all right it's working now so we can increase the length here up to the edge so like alex whenever we uh, increase the password length then we got the fine things all right so guys if you still have any kind of confusion to the submit form then you can ask me in the comment box and uh, if you have any kind of suggestion then you can ask me still you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel the code link is given in the the code link is given in the description box and our facebook page is this uh, link is also given in the uh, description box so don't forget to like our facebook page also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video